Papa Squat. Come in at ya. Hey everybody, we've got, uh, I'm still sick, but uh, I've got a bunch of music I want to do tonight, mostly because I have kind of been bleh, all day, and uh, maybe some music will help me wake up a little bit uh, before I have to go to bed. <laughs> and uh, we're going to start off with something really different. This was something sent in by someone named Alex. Uh, I'm going to cross off Alex's name here because I have now said his name. Uh, and this is a rapper from Atlanta who grew up and went to school with uh, Lil Yachty. Uh, and this guy is called Young Cockstain. I actually feel like I've heard of him before. Um, but I, I really couldn't say for sure. And uh, But he said he's a really underrated rapper. I'm all for checking him out. What the hell, right? And uh, we're going to see what this is like. It's a short song, minute 49 seconds, called On the Stars. Uh, Hip-hop rap. This was just uploaded about a month ago. Probably, yeah, it looks like it was by Young Coxstain or somebody who is claiming to be him. And uh, for... One thing, uh, if you want to be a famous star, maybe don't have uh, the word cock and stain in your name. Um, you know, just an idea. Just change it to, like, Young CS. There you go. People will know. Everybody, everybody who's cool will know. Uh, let's jump into this. On to stars from Young Cock Stain. Minute 49 seconds. This is Young Cock Stain production. Now this nigga goofy, fun a nigga, he a goofy Hit him in the face with a motherfucker Doom, he shot up for that nigga, bitch, she a motherfucker Goofy, y'all bouncing on these homies, niggas like what have you so far That skirt off that block, punk Okay, so I actually really love the sound that he's going with here Cause it almost sounds like he's, uh, like at the bottom of a, uh I was going to say a barrel, but like down a tube, and he's sort of like rapping <laughs> up it at you, and so it kind of is echoing all the way up towards you as as he's saying the lyrics, and so they're a little distorted, but at the same time you're getting everything coming at you, and it's sort of echoing uh, right right into your ear holes. This is Young Cox Now this nigga goofy, fun, a nigga he a goofy. Hit him in the face with a motherfucker Doom, he shot up for that nigga Miss she a motherfucker Goofy, y'all bouncing on these homeless niggas Like what have you so far That skirt off that block Hold me a motherfucker Fall down smoking on that junior Not talking about Jimmy Gibbs He a motherfucker hoe Smoking on his whole crib I be sick and I'm sorry I'm a fucker day Fuck up that bitch She suck up my day She suck up my day She suck up my day Bitch, get out of my fucker Hey, young dog, bitch I'm going big in the stars Okay, and all this section, ah, this is really neat. All this section reminds me of like, <clears throat> almost, uh, uh, I, I, I don't want this to sound insulting, um, almost like overhearing somebody who's off their meds as they're walking down the street, like talking to themselves and like, you know, really animated and kind of like, oh, fucking set it, and it, and it's actually kind of cool uh, because it sort of, well, for me at least, it sort of transports me to this place of like, oh yeah, this is kind of, kind of a weird sort of feeling, like this really strange kind of energy coming off of the song. Yeah, it's neat. <laughs> Bitch, get out of my fucking way, young dog, bitch. I'm going big in the stars, going to Mars. I find these bitches on Mars, high as the motherfucking star. I'm smoking out weed by the jar, I'm sipping out walking my scar. Yeah, I'm fucked up off these motherfucking bars, trying not to crash my motherfucking car. Swerve and up this lean, I don't know what that nigga Jim get. Yeah, 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 then I drive away in the Tonka pretty fast. Run these bins like I'm DJ Phenomeno 6, I got this 9. This shit hit me like fine wine. I just stabbed this nigga and took his Rolex 9 times. 
Then I sing swap this nigga with a soda bar. These perkies got me singing like Bruno Mars. I'm like Andrew Jimmy how I got on these cigars. You go and dance when I get to busting. All this pack got me hustling. All this pack got me hustling. Yeah, and it's almost like he's not having a conversation with himself, but that there's like different characters speaking. Uh, because he changes the effects on his voice, and he changes the com like the performance completely depending on what he's doing. And I, I backed up a little bit so we can kind of pay attention again, but it's really kind of interesting. I just stabbed this nigga and took his Rolex nine times. Then I sing swap this nigga and was so divine. These perkies got me singing like Bruno Mars. I'm like Andrew Jimmy how I got all these cigars. You go and dance when I get to busting. All this pack got me hustling. All this activist got me activated. I just shot this nigga with my desert eagle. He evaporated. I saw this big ass nigga outside the 7-Eleven. I had to pump his ass with a mag 7. I ran this nigga down. I got aggravated. I'm hella fucking grimy. I'm elevated, pumped the bullet. That nigga dead. He was on the ground twitching. I'm over here sipping. Uh. Seven a piece soda. And then stop. Oh, stop. 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 Stop playing. Uh. Yeah. I could. I could see him getting much further than he probably has already and i'm serious the name the name is not gonna work for you very well uh but damn really creative stuff and i i saw a note here at the bottom that says this is a very intriguing song about money uh it's a very elevating song i spent 14 hours making this song enjoy so that's pretty interesting so this is a I mean, I don't know how long it takes to make a song. It could take anywhere from an hour to years, right? 14 hours seems pretty quick. Uh, and it's a short song, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, you could spend... I mean, people spend years on a haiku. So, uh, you know, the amount of time somebody spends on something is not really a reflection of the quality or the length. Um, yeah. Interesting. I, I would certainly want to hear more by him because just this single track shows so much more creativity than a lot of the people that we listen to, at least in terms of like the amount of different things going on in this one track. And it's not even two minutes long. Uh, I mean, you saw me stop, what, two, three, four times uh, just to make comments on it. And, and that I think is a reflection of sort of the amount of creativity going into this. Um, yeah, and, and it's stuff like this that may not necessarily break through into the mainstream, but that fans of music, and especially this type of music, are going to hear, and they're going to take pieces of it, and eventually that's going to work its way into other sorts of music and other tracks and uh that's where the cool stuff comes from is people who are willing to experiment in ways that other people aren't uh so uh yeah alex good call on this this is kind of cool I, I i would be interested in hearing more from young Coxstein. young Coxstein. this is just a terrible name uh dj stiff sock right like no i don't think so um <clears throat> Good stuff. I like it. I, I'm apparently very easy to please, but uh, no, this showed off a lot of creativity in my opinion. Uh, cool. Pop squad. Uh, nope. Checking out. <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired? Uh, I will be back with some more music. Thank you very much.